te va a ver los What's good, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. Let's see what they got today. Uh, I don't expect Sitka. Oh, I'm gonna go short sleeves and long sleeves. Short sleeves and long sleeves. First. I don't know if you're first. You might be. Kenny Flowers Limited Edition, $34.99. It must be good. They looked that one up. Everything but yellow tags today. Everything but yellow tags. What's up, Joel? tapping that screen. Kayla's also live if you guys want to go watch her live thrift. She's over in the women's section. It's a vineyard vines, but it's too much money for that vineyard vines. Too much moolah for that vinny vines. We looked that up last week another one of those Kenny Flowers. Is this good? Somebody look this up really quick. Kenny Flowers Limited Edition shirts. The second one I've found. They're half off. They priced them up, which means they probably did their research on those. Yes, they're good? Okay, cool. Too good. <clears throat> Good morning, Kim. Welcome in, welcome in. Appreciate everybody hopping in on this beautiful Wednesday morning. There's not a ton of people here. Decent amount, but not a ton of people at the store today, so that's always good. Looks like it's going to be raining all day today, so that's probably why some people opted out getting out of the house today. Stayed in bed. Penny's 88 um, on sale for 35. Penny is 88 on sale for 35. Okay. It's a Ralph Warren. It's a four dollar Ralph Warren. I'll probably throw that one in the cart. I'll look up the uh, that brand after I'm done thrifting today. It's a little expensive at 1750, so it's gotta be worth the worth the money. It's gotta have a good sell through rate for me to pick that up. That's full price. Remember, yellow tags are full price. Everything but yellow tags. Damn, it's actually kind of cold in here today. What's your wife's? It's a K the book nerd. K A Y the book nerd. All one word. Patagonia, $14.99. It has the fish logo on the front, but that's too expensive for the short sleeve. It's unfortunate. I like Patagoochies too. So let's check the new racks. There's nobody over here checking the new racks, which is beautiful. It's a Piranha, 13. Columbia, Sheehan. And nothing on this one. Let's go to this one over here. North face for thirteen. I'll pass on that. Another 
north face for eight, but it's pretty simple north face. No, I've never heard of that brand before. Is it good? Should I be on the lookout for it? Should I be looking for it? <clears throat> um, when do you start listing fall and winter inventory? We're going to start listing that in September. September. But I will be looking for some today. This has a stain on it. Otherwise, I'd pick it up. It's a World Champions one. And it's silk, and I really don't want to have to deal with it. I'm trying to clean it, so we're going to pass on that one. Haller Bros. Haller Bros is really good. Haller Bros is really good. It sells really fast. Typically, thrift stores don't price it up, which is great. It's an old Bush Garden shirt. There's two of them back to back. Like a Bush Garden Safari shirt. I wonder if these have any resale value. Bush Garden Safari shirts. Tommy Mahama. Short sleeves are not hitting today, that's for sure. Short sleeves are not hitting. Resell yourself to sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. If you're new here, hit that follow button top left-hand corner. I do these lives every single week. I go to thrift stores just like this one. Look for items to resell. For profit. Kayla, my wife, is currently in the same store. She's in the women's section looking for some items to flip. So if you want to go watch her live thrift, she's currently live as well. Over at Kay the Book Nerd. Looking. Hopefully, I can find some. Maybe up front for a hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, I got to go to Florida. Nah, I uh. I know people who do that. Yeah, I go to school in Florida today. So I recognize you. Where do you uh? Where do you work? The book nerd. Yep. I used to work at Florida. Oh, the one in Dunedin? Yeah. Yeah, man, you used to see me in there all the time. Yeah, see now I uh. How you doing, bro? I'm doing good, bro. I live in Florida State now, and like uh. I just find clothes for my friends at this point, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, it's changed a lot. Oh, it's changed so much. We lost Main Street. Oh, that's a good one. Main Street? It's only five bucks. But look at that hit oh, on the front. Ralph yeah, Warren. That's all you guys, uh, that's now, like, what? Those dudes are talking so damn loud. Yeah, the owner that was here is down in St. Pete. Yeah, my, uh, my buddy works yeah, for the yeah, one in St. Pete now. Yeah, Miles Blake. It's a $4. Yeah, yeah, four dollar uh, Ralph Warren. I'll put that up for four. It's bread and butter uh, it's, right there. I, I, yeah, I still bring in some stuff to him all the time uh, whenever I'm down here. It's Travis Matthew. It's got a good print to it. They want 10 bucks for it. I'm going to pass that 10. It's a Mountain Hardware. Three. It's a nice one. Mountain Hardware. Three bucks. Do you find anything decent so far? I got a little pink tag. Okay, what? No value in Bush Gardens. Yeah, that's what I figured. Why I left it. Travis Matthew, another one. This one has another really cool print to it. Ah, it's kind of sucks. I really want to pick this up. I'm gonna throw it in the cart. I'll make a decision later about that one. It has a really good print to it. Will you list those for? Uh, which one? It's a nice Lacoste. If this was half off, I'd pick that up. Tap that screen, send those likes. I am going to pick this up. It is 10 bucks, but this is easy money when it comes to the cost. Super easy money. Nice print on that one. It's like a $34.99 Lacoste. Um, 
polo, custom slim fit. It's only three bucks. I mean, I can't pass polo for three bucks, right? Just a simple polo Ralph Lauren polo for three. It's easy money. That one's four. This one's this one's five, but it's got the big pony on the front. Um, or six bucks, but it's got the big pony on the front, so we'll take that one too. Another really good one. This is a kid's though. It's a kid's, you can tell by that size, so we're going to leave that one. If that was a men's, I'd pick that up all day. Robert Graham Polo, you don't pick these up. They just don't move very well. Um, I drive four hours to go to Red Wing Blue. Yeah, we drive like an hour. Maybe a little less than an hour. It's a 2XL. Next week I'll pick that up. It's a good size on that one. It's a really nice Orvis. Um, I don't normally pick up Orvis, but this one's unique enough to where it might sell for like $17.99 plus ship, it's half off, so we'll scoop that one up. Oh, you're all good, dude. You're all good. Oh, you don't pick up Callaways? No, I don't pick up Callaway. I'll pick up Callaway if it's new with tags, but that's pretty much it. Crazy shirts, Hawaiian polo, and it's a pretty crazy shirt. Arcteryx, you want $12.50 for the Arcteryx polo? I think that's a scoop. 1250. I'm going to look up the comps afterwards, but you might as well throw it in the cart for now. Southern Tide. Peter Millar for 10 is a pass. Here was, here's another Travis Matthew watch. It'll be 20 bucks. Oh, it's 12.50. It's even more. Yikes. Here's another Polo Ralph Lauren. It's four bucks. It's got the big pony. Get it in my cart. Focus for 40. Pass on Eddie Bauer. Yep, I normally always pass on Eddie Bauer. It's a Lacoste. It's a size 3, though, which means it's like an extra small. That was a good pattern to that Lacoste, but it is too small. It would sit forever before it sold. Here's another one, but that one's 10. It's full price. Get in my cart. Another $10 Lacoste. Lacoste for 10 is kind of crazy. This Lacoste doesn't even move that well anymore. It's got to be a special Lacoste. It's a Burberry Polo. It's twelve fifty, but it's fake. You can tell by that that it's fake. Fake, 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 fake. Pick up Callaway for my brother. Where? Yeah, Callaway's still a good wearable brand. It just doesn't have any resale value. That's what we're looking for. Items that resell well. If you're new here, you already know what to do. You hit that follow button, top left-hand corner. We do these lives every week show you guys what i pick up appreciate the follow michael really fake Bur burberry poles oh yeah burberry is faked very often very very often it is faked very often i'm in the kitchen wrist twisting like wow all right migos we got migos in the house everybody has everybody say hi to the migos Pass the good Hollister. Yeah, I'll pass a good Hollister like all day, every day. Hollister doesn't move very well. It's a very mainstream brand. There's probably certain pieces that sell well, but a basic polo, that ain't gonna sell well. Um, it's a Patagonia polo. It's a simple one. It's eight bucks. I'm gonna pass on it. Patagucci polos. If that was like a long sleeve, I'd definitely pick it up, but polos I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on. What are you looking for? I'm looking for brands with good resale value. So what I do is I come to the thrift stores like this one. This is a, before everybody in the chat gets mad, this is a for-profit thrift store. So that means they buy all their inventory to make a profit. Um, only a small percentage of what they make actually goes back to uh, any kind of association or anything like that. But so I'm at this store buying items to flip online for a profit. That's what I'm doing. Um, it's a North Face, it's only five bucks. 
has a lot of filling. It's got some stains. We're going to leave that one. Always triple check your ish. This is good. As long as it doesn't have any stains. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren, but it's an XLT. And they only want three bucks for it. Remember, everything but uh, white tags is half off. What brand sells best? There's tons of brands out there that sell good. If you want to know the brands I sell consistently, my eBay store is linked in my bio. Um, I think my Poshmark is linked in my bio too, so you can check both of those out if you want to. You can see what I've listed and sold for the last 90 days. Now I understand why stuff is marked up. Is it similar to Plato's Closet? Not really. It's not a consignment store. That What they do is I believe they buy pallets. Um, I believe that's how they get the inventory. Oh, no, they don't buy pallets. They buy from um, the Veterans Association. So you know those, like, cards you get in the mail that says, like, leave your stuff out by the curb um, for the Veterans Association for donation? So what they do is they buy it from the Veterans Association. That's how they make their money. So the vets make their money. They make their margin. Everybody wins. I believe that's how it's done. Don't quote me on that, though. I could be a little off. It's just what I've heard. It's a good one. This is a really good polo. It's 8 bucks, but it's got the pattern, like the colored Ralph Lauren hit, and it's in good condition. It's a really good, and it's got the three on the side. That's like a $30, $35 polo all day, every day. And twice on Sundays. What do I want for these? Only 10 bucks. They are pretty beat though. Ethan might scoop those up. All right. So we have competition here today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of skim around a little bit. How can you buy everybody out there see the Burberry brands? You just gotta know what to look for on the tags. Um, you can just look up listings on online to see what other ones look look like, but uh, that was way off. The tags, it's miss that one was missing a tag completely. That it should have had. Alright, we're not gonna go long sleeves just yet. We'll go long sleeves in a minute because we do have competition here today, so and they've already been through the long sleeves. So we gotta make sure we're, we're quick today. Since you're saying you seem like you know what you're doing, I do know what I'm doing. I do this full time. I go to stores like this every week, buy stuff, resell it. Um, this year alone, so we're in August, right? Yeah, August. Um, I've already done $150,000 in sales, most of which come from thrift stores just like this, my inventory. So this year, we should easily crack 200K. We might be able to crack 300. I'm going to push hard at the end of the year to crack that 300 number. That would be really cool. 12.99 for AG jeans. Yikes. Another pair of AGs for $12.50. See, I see, um, I seem to struggle. Men's, men's is actually not too bad. Just gotta learn the brands. Men's is not about style. Men's is about um, the brands that sell. Percent you take away for taxes? Talk to your tax advisor. They'll be able to help you with that. I'm not a tax professional, so I don't feel comfortable answering tax questions. Um, this is a pair of page, but they're really really worn um, they obviously have some knee wear and that's not factory knee wear so we're going to pass on that no jeans today no jeans all right let's go through the sweaters um i do well with women's yeah my wife is in a women's section right now she's currently live if you guys want to go watch her over at k the book nerd k the book nerd I'm not really looking to get a ton of men's today. I'm just looking to uh, pick up a few good things because um, we're also going sourcing tomorrow. So if I don't get a ton today, I don't really mind, to be honest. We'll lock and Jones. We got a straight down. This is good. A straight down jacket for only $250. That's nice. Winter's right around the corner, everybody. So if you're not sourcing uh, the jacket section, you should be. Great juice, appreciate the follow. Wonder what you drink. A lot of people are already have. 
lot of people are already have. Uh, yikes. Uh, how do you know there's competition? Um, one of the guys in here I talk to often, and uh, I know he knows what he's picking up. So, yeah, that's how I know there's competition. Um, but people always miss stuff. So the sections that he's gone through, I'll still go through, but um, I'll go through after he's, you know, after I've gone through the other sections that he hasn't hit yet. It's always good to, like, move around a little bit. Pass on those polo pieces. That would be nice if I could find, like, a Filson piece just chilling in here. You know how long it's been since I found Filson? What is this? 32 Heat. That looks like North Face label every time I see it. Leaving nothing for people in need. Hey, soul, soul. I literally just went through the beginning of this aisle, and that's how much stuff I left. Such a stupid comment. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. Uh... I'm, I'm mad because I'm going to work today, so I'm going to leave a comment like that in the chat. <laughs> I got him. I got him, guys. Get him, Trisha. Out you go, buddy. There's nothing left. There's, there's literally hundreds of thousands of items in this store, but there's nothing left over. Guy's such a douche. Taking all the stuff. I'm mad I can't make it there for opening, yeah. That's one benefit to doing this full time. I bet you that guy's voice sounds just like that, too. Yeah, if only he knew how much it ends up in the landfill. Trust me, I, I, I have a Facebook page, and I post my content to Facebook, and I get comments like that probably every hour on the hour. It's such a... It's so, like, yeah... If you do this, you know how dumb that comment is. Because it really just doesn't make any sense. It's all jealousy and envy. That's all it is. Facebook is the worst. Oh, Juliet knows. By the way, we have some of in the chat, guys. Um, if you guys could, um, can you ask Juliet in the chat if she can send me her autograph? I've been asking her for her autograph for, like, months now. And she still hasn't sent me her autograph. I just want to hang it up on my wall. One day when she gets rich and famous, I'll sell it for a million dollars. It's too much money, twelve fifty. People end up with realizing, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Jackets and sweaters are Zuda. Are very very slim pickings today. Slimmy, they're slimmy today. Um, how often do they do restocking during the day? So they have a rack. They have two racks over there. Right over there. Um, they have... Uh, actually, they don't have any more racks out right now. But if you give it like 15 minutes, they'll probably bring out like another like three or four racks in the store. The men's section currently has two racks that uh, two of the ladies are stocking. Do I pick this up for twelve fifty? I think I do. It's a fluffy vineyard vines. But they're stocking two men's right now. It's a really good vineyard vines. I don't normally pick up vineyard vines like that, but that's a decent one. And do you ever go look at the new racks before they put them out? Yep, I already went to the men's new racks. So the women's, um, Kayla will look through. Gymshark hoodie for 15, ah, it's too much. It's a good one, it's a size small though. It's a good Gymshark hoodie, just too much, too much moolah. Too much moolah. So North Face for six fifty. This is a men's medium. It's a nice one. Six. Oh no, white tags are not. Is it white tags or yellow tags? Damn it! Oh, I would always forget this. Um, white tags are fifty percent off. Okay, so this is good. Yeah, yellow's not half off. I always forget the two. There's. I don't know why. I have the hardest time remembering white and yellow whenever they're on sale. Taylor. Probably go through the women's sweaters after this. I know this is kind of weird and it's like not what we normally do. Oh, this is good. 
It's a um, LL Bean. It's only four bucks, but it has the little LL Bean head on the front. These do really good come winter season. Um, so the Gymshark would be 50% off too. Yes, it would be. So it's 15 bucks. There's not enough, you know, room for a profit for me, but for somebody who's looking for Gymshark, who happens to be a men's size small, which not a lot of guys out there are, um, that'd be perfect for them. <coughs> but for my resale purposes, it's just not enough. You know, I could make a profit on it for sure, but it's just not enough to spend 15 to make like $7 in profit, you know? So we'll pass on that one. Was it Mavi Jeans White Tech? Yeah, they were, but they were 10 bucks, even uh, half off. So that's a pass. That's a pass for me. That's a no, Scott. Um, size large is 750. Do I pick this up? Uh, it's a good one. It's a good pattern. Eh, throw it in the cart. We'll decide later. Throw it in the cart. If I don't want it, I can always put it back, right? Boston Red Sox. For 750. I'm gonna pass on that. Nobody likes the Red Sox, right? Actually, I don't even follow baseball, so that's not even a low blow. Armani Exchange. And for that reason, I'm out. You missed another? What did I miss another of? There's probably a reason I passed it because the price is probably too high. Whatever you're saying. Is any of mine selling good for you? Yeah, they're going to start picking up here pretty soon. But, um, yeah. There's another one. That one's 10 bucks. I'm going to pass on that one for 10. Bunch of eyes odds. Good. Good patterns to those, if only they weren't a crappy brand. I'm sure I've answered this, but I'm new here. How do you know what brands are good to get? You can look up comps online. You can look up listings on eBay, see what's listed versus what's sold. It's the easiest way. Here's a Peter Millar. It's only James Purse. It's a pretty basic vineyard vines. It is a size 2XL. Um, I'll probably throw it in the cart. It's a good size, 750. be like a whatnot piece an easy easy uh whatnot filler item render you it's your new attack it's nothing good <clears throat> appreciate everybody hanging out you guys are here tap that screen with the 15k likes if you want to go, uh, go watch kayla she's currently live thrifting in the women's section she probably has a lot less competition over there, to be honest. There's like three or four people over here in the men's section. Here's a carbon to cobalt. Size large, but it has a hit. I can pick that up every week. It has a has a stain on the front. Gets me every week. Katie the book nerd. Thank you for sharing uh, what you do. I like so much for me. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Water section is packed right now. It's packed. Um, Aston Martin Racing. I wonder if that's good. You guys think this is good? That's the tag by Hackett Aston Martin Racing. I wonder if that's good. I probably should look up comps on it. Sometimes these car car pieces can go for good money.
Yes, I think so too. Another L.L. Bean. Um, this one is only four bucks and it's got the hit on the front. It's a scoop. Oh, it's stuck in my ring. Been with Kayla, so many women's brands overwhelming. Oh yeah. Women's brands are women's is women's is a lot harder than men's to learn, that's for sure. But women's is more about like not even brand, it's about style and yeah. Coliseum. Nike team. Spark paws. What's that? Protege. Oh, seven fifty. Um, this is like a Kuji sweater. It's kind of like a Kuji sweater. The brand is Protege. It's got this nice pattern to it. That's a pickup. It's only seven fifty. It's not a crazy pattern. If it had like more colors to it, it would go for a lot more. But it's still worth picking up for seven fifty. <coughs> Um, with sourcing, listing, admin time, shipping prep, how many hours we, um, you're working average? Um, if it counts everything, including social media, I'm probably working 60 to 70 hours a week. 60 to 70. But like, this is technically work, right? What I'm doing right now, thrifting, is technically work. But is it really work? Is this really what you, people would call work? Like, normally people come here to shop on their like off days and have fun. Like, this never feels like work. Everything I do never really feels like work. It's what I enjoy doing. Like, I look forward to going home and listening and going home and um, going on live and editing videos. Like, that's what I look forward to doing. So it never feels like work. Can you give us an idea um, what you can sell the item for? Yeah. Um, next item I pick up, I'll tell you what I think I'd get for it. I normally do. Let's go through the pants. I'm going to go through this side first. So they're Brooks Brothers. Just trying to see if I can spot something like really good. Joseph A. Bain. All right, let's go through the pants really quick. Pants time, pants time. Keep the new racks already? Yep, I already went through the new racks. There wasn't anything on the new racks, which is quite rare for uh, the store. Yeah, there wasn't anything. Nobos. This store always prices up the Nobos, and it never sells. It literally, like, every time I come here, I find Bonobos for 24 bucks. Pack sun. Nike Golf. What brand is this? Oh, Johnson & Murphy. No, thank you. CQY. All in motion. Uh, what are you? Bull denim. Bull denim garment and dyed pieces. Um, this tag looks good. ZMDC. ZMDC denim. Does anybody know that? Maybe it's not. It's got paint all over it. Uh, we travel different states. Uh, we stop at the thrift store. Uh, we have a ball. Yep. It's always fun. It's always fun when you're out in like a new area and you go thrifting. Because you're like... You always want to see like what the thrift stores are like. Sometimes you're disappointed, but sometimes you're like, holy crap, I wish I lived here. Clothing, oh my goodness. They want 25 for it though. Damn, how do they know clothing arts? How do they know clothing arts? Um, I'll think about that one. You guys know that brand? <laughs> you guys know this? It's 25. 
I don't know if it's a pass though. Last pair of clothing arch pants, I think I sold for like 75 bucks. So at 25, if I can sell these for 75, it's worth it. But yeah, look for that logo right there. Oh, you might be saying pass to the other one. Look how freaking funky this thing is. Clothing arts. Arts like, you know, art class. Might be worth it. I gotta look up comps on those. Um, sit in my car waiting for Goodwill to open. Um, should have stopped at Red Wine Blue. They opened at nine. Yeah, ouch. There's another pair. And there's another pair, right? Damn, they got they got a bunch of pairs here. Um, I gotta look these up. I think these are worth it for 25 clothing arts pants. Come on, give me some more. Give me some more, I'll take some more. So definitely um, get their opening, right? Yep, sell the rate is over 100 for clothing arts. Yep, it's a really good brand to be on the lookout for. Um, normally thrift stores don't know it because they look really basic. Um, this, this thrift store, obviously, you know, they do their due diligence. They got people in the back that are skilled eBay researchers, but that's okay. As long as there's enough meat on the bone, whole K-Way will scoop them up. Is this Carhartt? They want 750. They're fire resistant Carhartts, but they're a massive size. They're 44. Oh, and they're dusty. Throw those in the cart. They're fire resistant or flame reach. Uh, oh, I can't say that word on <laughs> TikTok Live. I almost said it. Travis Matthew for twelve fifty. That's the pass. I can't say the other R word, even though I'm using it in the proper context, because TikTok doesn't like it. Somebody would report me immediately. Oh, he said it. He said the R word. Ban him. Ban him, TikTok. Ban him. I am a live pro. Can't get me. Appreciate all the bless use in the chat, by the way. Fire resistant. Yeah. Can't say the other R word. People will get very mad. They're only ten dollars. Oh my gosh, they're only ten bucks. Uh, no, they're not. They're not half off. Damn it. Um, these will be good for next week. I have to remember, these are here, chat. These are twenty. Twenty bucks for those are not good. Ten bucks for those? That would be muy bien. We did it. We did it. Um, someone tell me what the R word is. Um, like there's you know flame resistant and flame um and there's another word that goes for it and you're using it in the proper context i mean i'm not by any means degrading anybody by the way i say it but yeah um if you say it some people might report you immediately even though you're not saying it's bad yeah minus the ant what's up mom Mom's in the chat. Say hi to mom, everybody. Ready? You guys all have to say hi to mom. Ready? There you go. Say hi. <clears throat> wicked Stitch. Wicked Stitch. What is Wicked Stitch? Is that a good brand? Wicked Stitch? Where is it made? Probably tell me if it's good or not. Uh, I don't know. Somebody in chat can tell me if that's a good brand. Wicked Stitch. Kind of negative feedback. I hate people this morning. Yeah, I got a negative feedback. I'm trying to get removed. I refunded them, and I'm hoping they, hoping they come back and you know, give me a, give me a better feedback. This is a pair of Mavi jeans. They're only seven dollars and fifty cents. We'll throw those into the a cart. Mavi jeans to go for 38 is what I'll list them for. BT 
these for twelve fifty. Polo Ralph Lauren's. Nah, we're not gonna pick those up. Not good. Pass wicket okay. Thank you, chat. All right, let's go to the long sleeves now. Long sleeves, pass wicket, okay. Never heard of that brand before. I see so many new brands whenever I come here. Oh, by the way, we passed all those um, Department 56 pieces last week. All right, we'll be okay. We'll be all right. I think somebody scooped them up. Somebody, somebody did scoop them up, it's okay. I didn't want them anyway. All those Department 56 pieces you guys saw last week, I left them because comps were not that good. They didn't look that good. Converse. All right, now we're getting down to the, the nitty gritty because all these sections have already been hit. This Polo Ralph Lauren, it's a new label, size XL. It's only five bucks. Throw that in the cart. We'll do the surf up method on that one. Kayla has more views, I know. She's killing it over there. It's been so nice not having her on lunch. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's a 2XL Ralph Lauren. It's an older label, but it has the colored pony. Pick that up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, I crack myself up sometimes. Uh, that label looks good. But I don't know that brand. Peter Millar's too much. Uh, can't wait to my local through the Nice. That's awesome. Good little sale they got going on there. Oh, that you adopted surf up method yeah hey if i see it works I'll, I'll take it i mean i don't know everything i used to pass on ralph warren pieces all the time but i went to surf store and i looked it up and i saw that he was selling them for good money i was like all right and then he's selling them frequently it's like all right this method obviously works and there's reasons why it works i've said this on multiple lives uh if you go to tj maxx right now ralph warren shirts all of them are 50 bucks 50 with a zero at the end that's why they're selling for good money on eBay, quickly, in pre-owned condition. Because even at the discount stores, they're marked up. What's up, Sandra? Uh, radiation tomorrow. After that, me and the husband at the thrift store. Nice. Starberry. Come on, this has to be good. It feels good. Starberry woven shirt. Somebody look up Starberry. This has to be good. It can't be bad. There's no way. It feels too good. It feels amazing. Don't let me down, chat. Don't go to eBay and see that they're bad. Just tell me they're good, chat. Just tell me they're good. Uh, this is a good Ralph Moore. It's an older label, but it's only three bucks. Vineyard? What about Vineyard? Fun fact, I've never been to a Vineyard. Go to Dillard's there. Oh, they're a hundred dollars to pull Ralph Warren. That's crazy. It's crazy that people actually pay that much for Ralph Warren pieces too. It's insane. Miss the tag. That's the tag. Starberry. Oh, people are. Oh man. They're gonna. Oh, they're going after each other. Ooh, that guy's mad. That guy's mad over there. He's going to beat him up. I'm about to see a fight. I'm about to film it, and it's going to go viral on TikTok. Not good profit. Damn it. Come on. Come on, chat. Come on. <laughs> I need that prop. Uh, where's your wife? My wife is, uh, she's in the thrift store. Not me turn up the volume. No, so what's happening is that guy's stocking the shelves and then the other guy keeps going to his cart and taking out of his cart. Well, and I guess he has everything organized, so he's mad. He's mad that he keeps touching his items out of his cart. Get him. 
Segna, Grayers, REI, J Crew. Ooh, that's a nice J Crew too. And it's half off. And it's brand new with tax. No retail price on that one, huh? Six dollars and fifty cents. Look at that. Mid weight flannel. It's a nice one. State of Unum in Florida. Uh, that's a Chris at Peak special. It is. It's only six fifty too. It's a good one. Brand spanking new. Ben Silver. I know this is good. The fact that this is just sitting at the end of the rack. This is a good brand. It's just chilling at the end of the rack too. Just to think, there's already been somebody that has gone through this section. The entire long sleeve set section has gone through it, and they missed that shirt. Can't win them all. I'm sure I'm missing shirts, too. Portafolio, I'm in the Tampa Bay area right now. We're on, like, the edge of, like, Tampa um, and Oldsmar. Like, we're, like, right in between. I don't even know what to call this. If I call it Tampa or if I call it Oldsmar, I really have no clue. I, haven't, I don't live around here. I don't live around these parts. Never heard of the brand. It's a good one. Pick up in your vines Wrangler. I do if they're priced correctly. If they're, if they're not priced good, then I'll pass on them every time. They have to be. They have to be right, accurately priced for old K way to make a profit. I know this section hasn't been gone through. The long sleeve solid has not been gone through. So. Henry Jacobson, Ted Baker, London, David Donahue, all really wearable brands, but unfortunately they don't resell very well. Barber for 30 bucks? Get out of here. What prices? Depends on the print. Depends on the piece. A Vineyard Vines with a crazy print on it could, could go for good money, and I might pay up a little bit more for it. If it's a basic Vineyard Vines, then I'm normally trying to pay between, like, Seven, like right around seven ish dollars. Ministry of Supply, brand new with tax. I passed on this last week, I'm picking it up this week. That is nice. Look up that brand for 35. Look up, it's actually half off, so it's 1750. Ministry of Supply. Put that in, putting that in your memory bank. All the way in your memory bank. Remember it. The fact that he can move through the items so fast and still catch all these comments just amazes me. I even caught your comment right now, and I read the entire thing, and I didn't make one mistake. I'm a pro. I don't admit, I don't get all the comments, though. I used to. <laughs> I used to be able to read all the comments on my lives. You guys remember those days? Who's the OGs in my chat that remember me reading all the comments? Back in my day, I used to be able to read all my TikTok comments. Now I can't get to everybody, because my old eyes can't read that fast. I remember. Yeah, you guys remember. Oh, yeah. See? Turtle Cam was here. A.K.A. Poshmane. Back back before she converted. I agree. Your brain must be on fire. It's really not. I'm like... I'm early morning coasting right now. I'm just basically coasting. My brain still hasn't even turned on, to be honest. Uh, you have a good speaking voice? Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I have a voice for radio. It's like a diss and a good thing, all in one, all in one uh, comment. <clears throat> Knit Oxford shirt, Ralph Lauren size small. Ugh. Damn size small. Nobody likes a size small. Is that a preview? Of what your voice will be in the golden years? Yeah. Boy, did I love going to thrift stores back in my day. I remember when thrift stores used to price items $5 a piece. Now they're pricing them all the way to $25. Can't even find a deal in those stores. That's what people on Facebook sound like. That's exactly what people on Facebook sound like. These damn thrifters are causing such mayhem in my stores. As soon as they line up in line, they just bow me over. They practically trampled me last week. Your wife sent us? Thanks. She said she sent you guys to me. She's like, I feel bad for him. Let me just send you guys all to him. Um, you gotta stop stealing from the poor, yeah. 
This damn guy's always stealing from the poor. He doesn't leave a damn thing on the racks. I'm gonna leave a comment on his Facebook page. Martha, have you seen this guy? Let me tag you in his videos. How do you tag again? I forget. It's a nice Mickey. It's a Mickey Co. It's five bucks. Do I pick this up, chat? It's an older one. I gotta look this up. I think I probably do pick it up. It doesn't have any Mickey logos on it, but it's one of the Safari shirts. So. Yeah, I'm gonna look that thing up. I left it here last week. And every, <laughs> seems like everybody else did too. Yes, okay. Everybody says yes. Somebody, um, if somebody looks it up, you have to look up Mickey Co. JG Hook. Easiest way to look up that shirt, see what it's selling for. Cedarwood State. God, I wish I knew all these brands. See, this is why when people say, like, what brands sell the best and what brands are you looking for, there's so many. There's so many I learn every time I come here. These Eddie Bowers are good. Should I pick these up, chat? They are Eddie Bowers, but they are fleece-lined. There was another one back here, too. There it is right there. Do I pick up Eddie Bowers for four bucks that are fleece-lined? Eddie Bowers not a great brand, but that's a great shirt. 80 bucks for that? Crazy. Get it multitasking. I can't talk without my my hands. You can't talk with... Oh, yeah. so are you from New York? My wife's from New York, too, but she doesn't use her hands when she talks. Sure, bundle. That might be a good bundle item, actually. You know what? We're going to do it. This one has a little, little mark on the front. Damn you. Come on. Work with me. There we go. Get that express shirt out of here. It does have a little mark on the front, but that looks like it's just surface mark. So what I'll do is I'll bundle both of these together. And then when I sell it, I'm going to say thank you, Angel, with a bow. And bundle them together. Because if I bundle those, I paid 8 bucks for them. So even if I bundle them and sell them for $40 plus shipping, that's worth it. I need to do that more often. I need to think that way. I never think that way. Thanks, chat. Mickey, was a yes or no? I picked it up. Well, I'll look up comps afterwards. I always I always look up comps after I'm done. This one doesn't have a tag in it. This one doesn't have a tag. So you always... Nope, I'm just looking for if it was a Lulu, but it's not. It's no Lulu. My stomach is growling right now. I'm so hungry. You missed a Hugo Boss? I did. I don't pick up Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss is a great wearable brand. For anybody who needed a nice dress shirt, they could come um, to a store like this and find Hugo Boss shirts and pick them up for themselves. But I will pick up this Untuck It for $6.50. But for me and my resale ventures, Hugo Boss just doesn't sell. I know people, some people pick up Gitman Bros. Um, I don't know if they really sell that well though. Wings for lunch? No. So it's today's eat the day we meet up with Ethan and we'll probably do burgers. We normally go to Red Robin. Yum. So if we go to Red Robin, uh, I'll get myself a guacamole bacon burger. Things are delicious. How many days do you thrift? Um, this week we're thrifting two or three days. Um, as soon as we um, hire some help on, We'll probably be thrifting three to four days a week because we'll always have somebody in the background listing for us. Like right now, we don't have anybody listing. Just imagine if, you know, somebody was listing in the background for us. We'd be getting like 20 items listed while we're out thrifting. It'd be pretty cool. Is that an MLB untuck it? No. It doesn't have an MLB hit on it, if that's what you're asking. high bar the these shirts you guys are seeing me pass these a lot more i only pick up the bigger sizes like this might be a pickup it's a size 17 this one will do a lot better it's only five five bucks whoops i burped chat um i'll look that over for stains it doesn't have any actually no it does see look at the collar look at the difference in the collar it's a little 
Yeah. Where do you store everything? I have a one car garage. All my items fit in my one car garage. If you go watch my um, live that we did on Sunday. Ooh. And it's half off. The hell, people are sleeping out here. People are fucking sleeping, bro. Look at this, it's brand new. Not even been used, a Viore hat. No tag on it, but people are sleeping out here. I just turned around and saw that. People are freaking sleeping. Um, now I forgot. Oh, if you watch my live from Sunday, you'll see how I store my stuff. On Facebook. People are asleep in these streets. Kevin's Plantation Collection. University of South Florida. The Bulls. Go Bulls. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Amanda. People are sleeping out here in these streets. Three and four. Five. I've heard the song in forever. It's done. If only I could sing. Do you guys typically go to the same thrift shops? Yeah, every week we come to the same store. But we rotate the stores we go to on the rest of the week. But every week, we always come to this store. Every week. And we pull a whole cart. That's why we come back every week. Because it's there's just so much stuff in here. Pass on the vineyard vines. It's too expensive. Is it Savers? No, it's called the Red, White, and Blue Thrift. We don't have Savers here in Florida, where I am. I think it's only in northern Florida where you can find Savers, but not here. Not in, not in this neck of the woods. We really only have one more area of the men's section to hit, um, except for suits. I think I want to pass on suits. I still have like 20 to list, and I really don't want to add to that pile, so. If you're in the area and you want to look for suits, you can come to this store. I didn't hit them. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look through them. Wayne. Uh, there's a Savers by me that I always find stuff. Nice. I've never been to a Savers. Fun fact. Kway has never been in a Savers. I think the closest one is Northern Florida to me, so that's why I haven't. I'm passing through. I think there's one in Jacksonville, maybe? I don't freaking know. Curran? Uh, I thought that was Kitten. Was that Kitten? What does Kitten logo look like? Or what is Kitten shirts? I don't, I don't know what that is. It looks like Kieran. Kieran, yeah, looks like Kieran. I don't know. Good. Alan Payne, England. Hey, pass on the Brioni or Laurel 100% Cashmere. Yeah, pass on all those surfs. What you should do is you should buy those and just send them to me because they're not worth anything. Just send them all to me. All the Brionis and all the all the uh, Laurel Pianas and all that stuff. Just send them all to me. Sending up thieves. I picked this brand up before it sat forever, so I'm not going to pick it up. Some people told me to pick it up, and, uh, and I'm not going to pick it up. Said so Jerry. That brand always makes me think North Face every time I see it. Think about all the nice suits you're missing that you don't go through. You know why, surfs? You know how hard it is to go through suits when you have your your freaking phone in your hand? This one, wow, this will be a pickup next week. There's just, like, I, we don't get to go through just, like, one color suit, right? You got to go through all of them all over again. Your boy, your boy's arm starts hurting, okay? I need to hit the gym. Get my dad to Savers so I can get his discount. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I used to get the discount when my mom used to go with me. She used to come along for the ride. 
Damn it, Surf's is gonna make me want to go through seats now. Damn you, Surf's. Somebody ban that guy. Just kidding, don't ban him. Red tag man? New to me, Brand. Surf's look. Surf's look. A red tag man. This feels good. Yeah. You know you do. You're feeling some cashmere. Okay, I'm back. What's up, Joel? I think we've already been to these, right? No, we haven't. Almost to the spot where we started. Yeah, it's no Filson hat like Joel found, you know? He gets Filson, I get Fiori hats. I guess I'll take Fiori, I can't complain. You guys wanna check the money rack? Let's go check the money rack after this. Let's go see what kind of money's on the money rack. Let's go check money rack. I'll trade you. You want the Fiori for the Filson? Ah, if only I rocked Filson. It's probably a good trade, actually. For, it's probably a good trade in my favor. But, uh, um, no, I'll probably throw that one on whatnot. Damn, why is everybody down each aisle? I can't get through. I can't get through, chat. They're, they're holding me down. Alright, All right, let's go to the money rack. It's money rack time. What if I make this into a video right here? I just gotta hold my camera steady. I need one of those um, gimbals. Do they have like a little handheld gimbal that's not like super noticeable? Um, I, oh, I didn't see any sales on the hat. How do you spell it? Viori. V-U-O-R-I. V-U-O-R-I. I need a gimbal. I need to upgrade my upgrade my setup. I'm gonna take a peek behind the counter. Alright, let's see what they got. They have this this is a lemon. It looks like a lemon. They have a lemon. For 750, I think that's worth it. Yeah, 11, a lemon for 750. It's a pickup. Another lemon for too much money. For the white tags, that's what you're looking for. White tags, white tags. Is that back there? Tommy Bahama jeans. Why is that up here? Here's another lemon for 10. I think that's worth it. 10 bucks a lemon. Gymshark, that looks, that doesn't look too good. Um, <laughs> these, might, <laughs> these might be worth it. These are lemons for uh, 15. That's it. I gotta make sure I come over here first thing in the morning because I already took all this stuff down and moved it to the regular racks. Those are worth it. A couple lemons. I don't mind a couple lemons. All right, back to back to the regular racks. Where's Kayla at? Oh, she's over there giggling. She doesn't know we're filming her. She doesn't know it. She, she had no clue. She doesn't even know. We just filmed her. Giggling at herself. What a weirdo. Who giggles at themselves? What's it? Sorry. It's exactly like Second Ave. I think Second Ave is the same company. I believe they are. They're pretty close. An influencer in the wild. go through these uh, vests really quick. We didn't go through the vests yet. 
As soon as they bring out, oh, they do have some new racks over there. I guess we'll go through some of the new racks. As soon as some people stop pounding the new racks, they got the people that literally sit all day and <laughs> they wait for the new racks. Pendleton? It's a wool Pendleton for 10. Um, probably passed. It's too plain. It's a nice one, but it's too plain. Joseph A. Bank. That looks like Burberry. Alright, let's go check out these new racks. Like I said, the other kids are here. Oh, shit. It's a nice Brooks Brothers. Well, beam. one more section and we'll go to the women's. Do you ever buy belts? No, I don't really look at the belts. I know there's money in belts though. I know there's good money in belts. But I don't typically go through the belt section. I probably should start learning belts. Anybody want to work at McDonald's? Got your pants here. I'll send them to you on the house. What's up, buddy? He's an Indian apple. Oh, uh, burn it. Tear, tear, tear off. Just tear, 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 right tear off. Yeah, tear them off and throw them in the garbage. And, no, we, we don't buy that stuff, big Al. That's a curse. Surf stuff. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't buy Colts gear. I sold toys before. Um, got good profits. Yeah, toys can be good too. I watch a uh, retro toy envy. He's, he finds some really, really good stuff. Scott James. Come on, chat. Please tell me these are good. Scott James. England. They got a zipper on the pocket. Looks kind of flimsy, though. Maybe these aren't good. Scott James. Whatever. We'll throw them in the car. I'll look them up. Not good. Damn it. Serves. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks cheap. Damn you, serves. Come on. I gotta find some some good jeans in here. Why can't I find some like Filson or something in here? Some some uh some like uh it's another good jean I'm looking for. I don't think I'll find Arcteryx pants in here. That'll be rare. I actually don't want to find Arcteryx in the store because they always price it up. Dumpster dive. I found AirPods. Nice. That is a craft and an art all in itself, dumpster diving. I don't know if I can bring myself to do it, but I know there's a, uh, if you hit the right dumpster, you can make a fortune. H&M. Uh, I just got done tapping your wife, now bringing bad news to that. Yeah, I know. Wah, wah, wah. Here's some old um, L.L. Bean, made in USA. Made in USA. Fun fact, I was also made in the USA. And I'm vintage. That means I'm rare. What are you? What are you? Okay, uh, golf people out there, short par four, short par four. Uh, these feel lightweight, vintage times two, short par four. Throw that in the cart for a second. Tell serves tell me their shit. <laughs> tell me put them back, they're garbage. Short par four, no short par, damn you serves. See, I knew it was gonna happen. I knew that that was going to happen. Okay. 
Yeah, are you out thrifting right now, Surfs? I don't think he is. Ooh, these are good. These are flannel-lined L.L. Beans. There you go, L.L. Bean. I'll have to see what size these are, but they're only three bucks. These sell really good come winter season. I move these for, for good money. Those are muy bien. Um, what brand are you? I don't see a brand. No brand. Yori Cap sells new for 32 Nice. I think it was half off. I think it was five bucks is what I paid for it. That'll be a good whatnot piece. Yeah, short par four, yeah. Surf's already gave me the bad news. Surf's gave me the bad news. Um, actually, if, uh, later maybe I like watching Kayla and Kayway. I like how you called her by her name and then you called me Kayway. <laughs> I like watching Kayla and Kayway. Uh, Citizens of Humanity, full price. We'll pass on those AGs, but they're missing the whole AG tag like completely. $5 is what I paid for my hat. Nice. We're twinsies. We're twinsies. Uh, I'm going to go through the women's sweaters and then we'll come back around here. Wayne and Kayla. Yep. That's us. The dynamic duo. I would go through jackets, but somebody already went through it, so we'll go through jackets in a minute once we go through the women's sweaters. Yep. Lego Target. Alright, ladies, this is where I need you. This is where I need you, ladies. Ladies in my chat. I think we're gonna find some barefoot in here. Some dreams. Some barefoot dreams. You don't pick up Duluth? No. <clears throat> Negative. Negative Ghost Rider. Unless it's super duper cheap. Like I'm meaning a dollar or two bucks. But even new Attack Duluth doesn't move well for me. That Mave has been here forever. We're actually moving through the store pretty quick. That's what happens when there's a lot of competition here. I tend to move a little faster. Colors together makes me happy. Yeah, that's how they separate it out. Makes it harder for your, like, your average everyday person to thrift. Because they're not by size, they're by color. But I like it. Because obviously I'm not looking for certain sizes. Eileen Fisher, what's it made out of? It's only 750. It's a size small. It feels um, very, very nice. Oh, there's a hole in it though. It's probably wool. Look at that hole. I'm not even gonna look at it now. I don't care what it is. It's a Pendleton, but it's a basic Pendleton. Pass on that. Nothing special. What about kids' clothes? I don't sell kids' clothes. I don't go through the kids section. There's probably money to be made there, but to be honest, it's just. Uh, not, not a ton, not a ton, to be honest. Um, like the people that sell clothing, like kids clothing, a lot of times they just lot it up. You get them at like garage sales, like here at this store, like you're paying like $5 on average for a piece of kids clothing. Unless you find something super special, there's not really much money to be made. I'm listing kids now. I know. And you list it in lots and you probably get it super cheap. If you're going to a thrift store like this, it's, you're not going to make a ton of money on kids' clothes. <clears throat> go to like a uh, go to a garage sale and pick that stuff up. Here's a Lululemon jacket. 
There's the logo. It's on the, there it is right there. It's only 12.50. I'm gonna scoop that up. 12.50 for a Lulu. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. North Face, too basic. Caleb found tons of Lulu today. Yeah, it looks like they moved them from, um, they used to keep the Lulus on the regular racks for like one day before they moved them. And now I think they move them before the doors open, which is good for us because now we can find them in the regular racks. A little bit harder to find. You gotta actually search for them. Move some of this stuff over to this rack. I have space to work. There we go. Free People Beach for $7.50. Ladies, is this a pickup? Ladies in my chat, is this a pickup? Free People Beach, where's the size? It doesn't have a size on it. Um, $7.50, little Free People Beach. North Face always sells good. Yeah, but that's too basic. I pick up North Face all the time too. We literally have um, like hundreds of pieces of North Face right now in our storage unit. Like I'm not joking, like literally hundreds. Yes, okay. Uh, I like it, don't know resale wise. Haul video tonight? Yep, oh, we'll do a haul video. If you guys are watching this and you can't watch the whole thing, we do our um, haul live at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have to go a little bit early because, mine, uh, we have to go a little bit early because uh, Kayla has to go to bed. She's she's not a night owl like, like me, so. But yeah, we'll go over all of this on live here on TikTok. We'll also be live on YouTube and Facebook, 8.30, and it'll be on my channel. Uh, by the way, Kayla's live thrift for, from today. I'm going to try to upload it today and get it up on her YouTube channel. If you guys aren't following Kayla over on her YouTube channel, just K the Book Nerd on YouTube and start uploading her live thrifts there as well because everybody always asks for her live thrifts. They're like, where's Kayla's live thrifts? We like, we want Kayla. We don't like you anymore. We want Kayla. So I made the executive decision to make her. Is Alaskan headgear good? I feel like I've heard that brand before. Alaskan Headgear by Duluth. It's not, it's not good. Never mind. There's another one that's simple, similar to that. Ooh, that's a nice Vince. What are they asking? Six fifty for it? Kayla left a gray Lulu jacket that she forgot to pick up. Okay, I'll tell her. This is definitely cashmere. There we go. Vince, 100% cashmere with a hole in the front. Damn you. That sucks. That sucks. Wah, wah, wah. Talbots. Man, not a lot of uh, women's pieces today either. Slim pickings. The hole is custom, yeah, custom hole. Just so you can poke your belly button. It's a free people, oh no it's not. Proof, poof. Poof is not free people. Almost got me. Almost got me. It's a North Face jacket. It's a full price though, it's 15 bucks. Yellow tag, it's 15, I'll pass on that one. It'll be here next week. I thought that was a Lulu. people good i pass it literally all the time some pieces are good some pieces are passive um i'm not one to really say like what's the best free people pieces 
but I know certain materials are pretty much always a pickup. Like you find cashmere, wool, linen, those are the kind of pieces that you always look out for. Wilfred. I know this is a pickup. Right, chat? If I can show the label. It's Wilfred. And it's only three bucks. Oh, but it has a stain on the front. That's literally the third item that I found today that could have been good, but it has a stain on it. What brand are you? You're super soft. Wilfred is good, I know, but with that freaking stain on the front, it's a pass. That's cashmere. This is this is cash. It has to be. Please don't tell me your wool. Please tell me your cashmere. Um, can't read the label. The label's like all faded. Nope, it's wool. It's wool and cashmere. And the label super faded. So we'll pass. There's another free people, 750. I'll pass on that one. Do you know how much both you make per year with your business? Yeah. Uh, last year we made 80K profit after all taxes were paid and everything. All that good stuff. This year we should make a lot more. Um, maybe not a lot more, but we should make more. Because last year the one thing we didn't have is this. Uh, we had social media, but we weren't making any money on social media, and now we're making money on social media, so add all that money on top of probably a similar, maybe a little bit more money this year we'll make on the reselling business, and add social media on top, be a good year. What's up, women's sweaters, man? Uh, nothing much. Uh, we're just looking for some items to steal from the poor. What's up, shoe guy? I'm jealous. If Ethan moves into his new house, he's going to be like five minutes down the road from this thrift store. He'll be right around the corner. St. John. St. John, pick it up. It's worth millions. It's 35 bucks. I'm going to pass on it. You don't sell Reese? Should I? Find Yeezys for 25? Are they authentic though? Ethan, if you find authentic Yeezys for 25, that's insane. Urban Outfit. Ooh, look at that Lacoste. Oh, it has a stain on it though. That's why it's sitting at the end of that rack. It's got a massive stain on it. see what do we have here uh, there's another st john's piece for 150 wow all right nothing on that rack Ooh, six dollars and fifty cents north face size small six dollars and fifty cents Get the heck in my cart. Get the heck in there and don't move. Don't you dare move. Pass a Reese sweater, Reese's money. What color was it? What color was it? I think I saw it too. Was it like gray or black or something like that? I think it was right around this area, right? Ivory. Oh, so it's back here. Mm -hmm. 
Where are you? There's the Wilfred. I think it's after the Wilfred, right? Didn't have a stain. No, that was the Wilfred. The Wilfred has the stain. Um, mm, might have been gray. I can't remember. Okay. No worries. I'll look for it. I think I saw it too. Oh, there it is. It's $14.99. It's full price. And it's a viscose, viscose blend. Viscose and something else. And elastane. Is that good or no? Can't see the label. The Reese. Is that good enough for 15 bucks or should I put it back? Looks pilly. No, it doesn't have any pilling on it. It's good condition. No, there's no pilling. Um, oh yeah, it does have pilling actually. Yep, we'll put it back. There's a spider woman's jacket for 25. We'll pass on that. Um, do you throw two days or even on the list on the others? Yeah. Yep. Kate Spade. Kate Spade for $7.50. How do we feel about Kate Spade? It's cotton, silk, and cashmere. Spider would be half off. Spider's too much, even, uh, even half off. Is that good, chat? Kate Spade, cotton, silk, and cashmere for $7.50. I think that's good, right? I wish I knew women's brands. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. I got two yeses and no no's. So therefore, we are picking it up. Uh oh, one just fell. Man down! Man down! Look. Colon. Man, no, uh, not a lot of North Face in here. Remember, like, a couple weeks ago we came here and we got, like, 15 North Face pieces? Here's a Lulu. This might actually be a pickup. This is a really nice Lulu, too. It's got the Lulu logo on the front. Oh, my God, that's so cute. Look at it. It's freaking camouflage Lululemon. Oh my god, it's 15 bucks. Um, I don't know what size it is though. But I'll probably throw it in the cart. That's a nice one. You guys like my uh, Lululemon lady impersonation? Pretty good at it. Cool jacket, yeah, that's a nice one. It's different. It's a Disney sized large. Who is that lady? Is that 
I don't even know. Alice in Wonderland? Is that Disney? I don't even freaking know if that's Disney. Alice? Okay, I got it right. Black dog. Another Disney Nightmare Before Christmas sweater. Bowden. It's too simple of a Bowden though. Actually, yeah, it's cotton. Dress barn. Dress barn. Same name sweater. No, uh, nope, that would sell. Calvin Klein. Yeah, Calvin Klein doesn't sell. And if it does, it doesn't sell for very much. Calvin Klein is never a pickup. There's like very, very few Calvin Klein pieces that I'd ever consider picking up. Say what? Alfred Dunner Petite. I think Calvin Klein dresses do well. Yeah, some Calvin Klein dresses probably do well. But like I said, there's like very, very, very few pieces that would actually do well. Disney store, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I just sold the Calvin uh, Klein shirt for 20 and paid five. Nice. Might be a one in a million kind of sale though. Paraphrase. Because if you look up Calvin Klein shirts on eBay, I'm sure there's like four bajillion listed and there's not many solds. Um, this is a Travis Matthew, but it's got so many stains on it. Not even worth it. Not even worth it. Yeah, Calvin Klein is super saturated. Yep find Calvin Klein pretty much everywhere you go. Man, this this has been a really, really rough women's section kind of day. Normally we find a lot more than what we found today. Lou Gray, made in Vietnam. Lou Gray. Another one right behind it. Lou Gray, is Lou Gray a good brand, ladies? Is Lou and Gray? I've never seen this brand. This one says Aloha on the front. Aloha. No. Thanks, chat. This looks like a Kuji. a little bit more of the men's section I'm going to hit and then I guess we'll find Kayla and see how much more she's got left. These can be good. These storybook knits if they have like um, if they have certain patterns to them. This one's only four bucks though. Should I pick this one up? Storybook knit. Normally you want to pick them up if they have like you know Christmas or something like that to it. I might look that one up. Might be worth it for four. Yes, older ladies. I might love that. Yeah, it's a very older, older lady style. I picked up one that was Fourth of July and sold, obviously, right before Fourth of July. I think it's old anyway. Hopefully it's not still listed. Pick up women's vineyard vines, only if it's cheap enough. The vineyard vines in this store, they typically list it like super, super high. They price it like 25, 20 bucks, even half off. It's not worth picking up. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Um, this one we'll pick up next week. It's a ladies North Face hoodie, but it's 15 bucks. It's too much money. Another North Face. This one's half off, but it looks like a smaller. Actually, this one's large. 
Um, seven fifty for this. Yeah, we'll pick this one up. Even young ladies these days, cottage core is very in right now. There you go. Love the orange. Yeah, it's like a. This is more of like a um, peachish, peachish color. Not a full orange. Oh, we haven't done shorts yet either. I saw somebody with a full cart come out of the short section, so pretty sure this has been ravaged through, but it's always good to check. The jackets also have probably been hit pretty hard. find some any some shorts that they missed you never know what you're gonna find here's some castaways 750 these are good castaway with lobsters all over them These would be good, but they have stains all over them. These over here. Found three pairs while on vacation that had pirate skulls, bonefish, five piece nice. This thing is dripping. We gotta get out of this section quick before we get rained on. when you're looking for these if they have the big heavy pockets down there they're worth picking up though those are just too basic not enough going on too basic good fellow um, what is this nothing travis matthew let's see what they have these at 750 it's actually worth picking up finally they priced these down travis matthew size 32 750 I'm surprised that somebody went through the aisle and they didn't pick up those travis matthews They're right at the end of the rack too. Super easy to spot. Um, Bali, Bali. Huh. Huh. Why does that brand sound familiar? Polos, nothing special about them. Luxmill. Bunch of Tommy Bahamas in here. Whole mess of them. Through the middle, but there's somebody in there. Uh, how much you? How much does the Travis Matthews up for? Like twenty-five. Twenty, twenty-five, somewhere around there. Those are Tommy Bahamas, I believe. Yep. Nothing, nothing, nothing. 
Hamilton. Where are those Callaways? Piranhas for 10. That's too much money. These, uh, nope, those look like um, Carhartts. Those aren't Carhartts. Check and see if they have any new racks, and I think we'll probably head off after that. By the way, Joel, I'm wearing the Viores. I think I've worn these twice in the last like three days. I need to find more Viores. Well, I actually have a hoodie section now over there. I need to check that hoodie section actually. I think they moved that over there recently. I've never seen that. Blue and gray is locked, yeah. Yeah, we passed on it. I never even realized that they have a hoodie section over here. I wonder how many great hoodies we've missed. Like this vintage Adidas jacket. Definitely vintage. That label. Not a big hit on the back though. Kayla um, has not done women's jackets. She said you can do them? Okay. I'll go over there and do the women's jackets next. Actually, I might as well go do that right now. Because all I'm seeing is a bunch of Under Armour here. There's North Face. It's a men's size small. It's 650. Oh, it's got stains all over it. It's a pass. It's a pass. bunch of nike in here beaver do we have any um oh maybe this is worth money the purpose tour you guys think this is worth money anybody out there have beaver fever it's got stains on the front i wonder how much these go for purpose tour fear of god oh that's probably worth it that is probably worth it that's a fear of god collab with uh justin bieber i might have to try to get those stains out Michigan, Jordan. Fear of God, Bieber. Peace. Fear of God, yeah, can you show it? It's a Bieber. Has um, a world tour going down the side, and then it says purpose tour, fear of God. That's got to be worth it. Fear of God is a good, uh, good streetwear. Puma. I didn't even know this section was over here. I've never been down this section. Unless they just moved it over here. Tag. Sold for 30 on Posh. I think it's worth it. Only a few listed. Sold for 30 on Posh. Okay, I'll look it up afterwards. See if, oops, sorry. I'll look it up afterwards and see if it's worth it. But it's worth keeping in my cart for now. Look at all these polos over here. I didn't even realize they had polos over here. Oh my gosh, like, look at this. Damn, it has stains on the front. Really good brand to be on the lookout for, Jay Lindbergh. But this one has pilling and it has stains, but this is a really good brand. Jay Lindbergh. I don't find that brand very often at all. How come nobody told me that there was a polo section over here? Of Nike over here, those I guess that's where they put all their athletic Nike Adidas pieces. Jordan t shirts, Adidas. 
soccer jerseys. Yeah, let's go look through the women's the women's uh, jackets. Card gang, you already know. It's funny to see all the vintage t shirt boys. <laughs> they literally just go from the new racks to the t shirt section, back to the new racks, back to the t shirt section. They don't check any other section in the entire thrift store, just all t shirts. Meanwhile, they leave with like three items, and I got a full cart. All right. Not the exact one, but other world tour hoodies. Okay, I'll check it. I'll check it after the live. My fault, didn't realize my battery was low. Got the battery notification. New York. KNY. Forever twenty one. finding anything i'm pretty sure a lady thrifter already went never mind <laughs> i was literally about to say a lady thrifter went through this and then got a little marmot piece for four bucks never mind there's still stuff over here hello bean calvin klein north end of the women's jackets and then we'll check one more time for a new men's rack if there is none then we'll probably call it a day jack by bb dakota Nothing, a bunch of nothing here. Got one marmot piece, that's pretty much it. All right, let's go find Kayla. Let's call it a wrap, call it quits. Go get something to eat, there she is right there. There she is, out in the wild. Take a peek down and see if we have any more new men's racks. Oh, we do have more new men's racks. All right, let's go check these out real quick. New men's racks, do blazers? No, I don't do blazers, not women's at least. I'll leave that up to Kayla to do. That's not my forte.
pero ahora me dijo que las mandara a las dos. Ahorita te mando a Mari y dejo a Magali. Magali. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, nothing, nothing. Alright, let's go find Kayla. And then we'll dip. Probably sign off here. You're by silver? No, I don't do, I do mostly clothing. Alright, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Um, come back to the live 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll do a haul tonight. And uh, after we condition check everything, we'll be able to tell you guys exactly what we picked up. Um, go hang out on Kayla's live. I'll be there over in a minute. Peace.